Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanrani456 here today, presenting you all a new episode of Sun Generations PC, Mod Mondays. And for this video, we are going to be using the Sally Acorn character mod, alongside the reimagined Chemical Plant Zone. So I want to give a big thanks to Gavin Quatch and Sonic Boom 5 for creating these mods for us fans to enjoy. And if you all would like to go download them and try them out for yourself, Make sure to go to the links in the description below and you should be able to find their channels there. And as always, if you all are enjoying this series, Mod Mondays, I want to keep on seeing more weekly. Make sure to go ahead and show your love, support, and demand down below and smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And let's see if we can hit the like goal of 3,000 likes for this video. But anyway, without any further ado, Kobanamites, let's go ahead and get back to this game. So, this should be a pretty interesting video as we are playing with a character that has never been in the video games, only in the comic books and TV shows. So it's a little bit weird seeing her in video game form, but awesome at the same time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show her regular and super form, so I'm gonna play through this stage twice. But anyway, let's get into it. And I absolutely love <coughs> the reimagined stages because... I mean, look at this right here! Okay, that camera angle where we got the close-up of Sally, super B.A. Like, oh my god, and that is exactly what I was going to say. I love the camera angles and the different level design around here because it just it just kind of spices things up. You know, makes things a lot more interesting because, you know, you play these stages a lot and sometimes, like, they get a little bit repetitive. So it's like, you know, to have, you know, just a few slight changes to where it's basically the same stage that we know and love, but oh my god, okay, whoa, that was close. Um, you know, it's the same stage that we know and love and whatnot, but, you know, just spiced up a little bit, make, make things a bit more interesting with, um, you know, it being more difficult, different uh, enemy placement, all that stuff, so that's why I like these stages a lot. And, I mean, seriously, these camera angles, they look so freaking awesome. Now, I have no idea why the uh, stage is lagging out, that's a little bit weird, because right now I'm running on that powerful GTX 780 that I just got about a week ago, week ago! <laughs> So, it shouldn't be slowing down. I don't know why it is, but... Oh, well. Anyway, we are just gonna continue... Ooh, nicely timed jump. Okay, uh... Jump here. Uh, I thought it was gonna, uh, change. Ooh! Look at this! See here? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I, I love the slight changes that just make everything a lot more interesting. Okay, whoa. That was close. Uh, hello? Oh, so I'm supposed to wall jump off this. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think Chemical Plant actually does have a problem with lagging out at times, so that could be one reason. Look at this! Oh my god! I, I love this so much. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my god! See here, this is just such an entirely different perspective of this stage, and it just makes everything like so much more interesting. Alright, blast away! See if we can time this right. Nope, I completely messed up, but it's okay. Alright, and there we go. That is it for Chemical Plant Act 2. But look at Sally Acorn. Like, her character model looks so good. Like, Goblin Quad did a fantastic job on this. And, like, her shoes are all shiny and everything. Like, very super accurate to how she looks in the comics. That is awesome. Like, seriously, I would love to see Sally, um, you know, in a future Sonic game as a playable character. I was hoping that that game, the game that would actually have her, would be Sonic Boom, because, you know, Sonic Boom was talking about having, you know, NPCs and all that stuff to, uh, you know, kind of talk to. And I thought it would be great if they could actually incorporate characters from the comic books into, uh, you know, the video games. But, sadly, they didn't do that. That was such a missed opportunity. But, uh, oh well. I mean, hopefully sometime in the future we'll get it. But, uh, let me see. Is this... Yeah, this is Supersonic. Alright, so we should be able to see her. So, let's go ahead and get back to the stage. Alright, quick edit there. I had to restart because I lost all my rings, so decided to, uh, just start over. But, um, anyway, like I was saying, yeah, Sally is Sonic's girlfriend in the comics. And at one point, in the Mobius 25 Years Later arc, she actually becomes, uh, his wife. And, uh, they both rule over Mobius, which is pretty interesting. I know some people may be like, No! What about Son Amy? But, personally, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like Sally Acorn a lot. Like, you know, she's... Like, she's not as obsessive as Amy, and she just seems level-headed. She's smart, and, uh, you know, she is, uh, a very 
a very uh, valuable um, addition to the Freedom Fighters. So yeah, I like Sally a lot, actually. So I don't know what exactly to call that ship or whatever. Like if I call her like Sun Alley or Sa Salik or something, <laughs> I really don't know. But yeah, I would love to see her as a playable character in a future Sonic game, maybe like a Sonic the Fighters uh, 2. Like seriously, who wants to see a Sonic the Fighters 2? Like that game is so much fun, and to see that they actually re-released that for Xbox 360 and PS3, like an HD with online and all that stuff, that was probably Sega's smartest move ever. Like they should do, they should do that with Sonic Adventure 2. Like, that was such a missed opportunity there. They could have done it with Sonic Adventure 2 and had, like, multiplayer online and all that jazz. But, uh, you know, like I said, sadly, they did not do that because sometimes Sega just doesn't think. In fact, most of these companies don't think. It's like, there's so many games that they could add online to, and they just don't do it because they're just like, Oh, heard they're there! You know, we could just re-release this game, you know, and get money from it anyway. We don't have to actually put effort into it and make it even more interesting, or add new additions. And it's a bummer, because, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2, multiplayer is so much fun. Alright, so, in a second, I'm gonna turn super once we actually get a, I guess, close-up to the camera angle? I, I really don't know. Alright, seriously, this looks so awesome, though. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, here we go, let's stop. Alright, and there we go. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so she turns blue like a freaking smurf or whatever. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, are we gonna actually have enough rings to last to the end? Are we? Alright, and of course we do. There we go. We are done with Chemical Plant Act 2. Look at that. So weird. But awesome at the same time. Like I said, she just looks like a smurf. <laughs> she just looks like a smurf. But there we go. That is Super Sally and Chemical Plant Reimagined. So. Wraps up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, like I've always said, make sure to drop a like in the comment. It helps out tremendously. And let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see Sally Acorn as a playable character? And who do you prefer, Sally or Amy as uh, Sonic's girlfriend? You know, because Sally is technically Sonic's real girlfriend, and then Amy is Sonic's self-proclaimed girlfriend. But uh, would love to hear what you all have to say. Let the ships. Let the ships in the comments commence. <laughs> they will set sail and they will uh, have fights with their with their armadas. But anyway, we are done here, so thanks again for watching. See you all, have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamite.